Hi, welcome to the series on Best of GMAT. Myself, Sainat Kathuripalli, a Chief Mentor at IMS International. In today's video, we are going to discuss a tricky problem-solving question from GMAT on the topic sequence. Before you continue watching the answer explanation to this question, I would certainly recommend you to take a pause of this video for two minutes, try work this question on your own, and then resume back watching this video. Certainly this way it's going to add value to your learning. Now, coming to the question, it's given that S is the sum of all the numbers of form one by N, where N is defined to be the integers from 33 to 64. And then S, and the question over here is asking the interval for S. So the limits for S, you can say. Now, coming to the question, let's collect what is given. You have that N is given to be a set of numbers from 33 to 64, 33, 34, 35, so on, up to 64. And yes is defined to be the sum of all the numbers in the reciprocal form from 33 to 64. That has to be one by 33 plus one by 34 plus one by 35, so on. 1 by 62, 1 by 63, plus 1 by 64. The summation of these values is defined to be S. And we are asked to work the interval for S. Here, what matters more is the logical thinking. And you know that you are supposed to work the lower limit of S. And here, the upper limit of S. So this value should be the least value, which should be lesser than the summation of all the numbers, the reciprocals from 33 to 64, so which is defined to be S. And likewise, we are supposed to work the upper limit for S, which should be the greatest value than S. If that is the case, we clearly see that one by 64, which carries the greater denominator among all these reciprocals would result a lesser value than each of these numbers in the summation. Hence, we can say one by 64 is less than one by 33, one by 32, one by 35. I can say that one by 64 is less than each of these 32 elements in the summation. So 32 times one by 64 must be less than yes. Likewise, if you look at it, among these uh, numbers, you know, one by 33, one by 34, one by 35, you see one by 33 carries the lesser denominator than all of these numbers, should give you the greater result, which means one by 33 is greater than each of these 32 elements. So times 32 should be greater than yes. So this gives you one by two, less than yes, less than, and 32 by 33 is almost equal to one. Hence the upper limit for yes, you can take it as one. Now you see that S line between one by two and one, hence the answer to this question must be D. So guys, if you seriously followed the answer explanation to this question, I would want you to apply the same logical way of working the question that I'm going to give you now. So, Try work this question which you see on the screen and type in your answer in the comment box. I would be eagerly waiting to see your answer. So good luck and happy GMAT preparation to you all.